I've never had it so nice. Huh? The cozy. You get a back massage with those two? Oh, oh, man. Coach, congratulations on the victory tonight. Joining coaches today is Devon Trail and Dante Lombardi. Uh, if you would, coach, just start us out with a comment about tonight's game. First of all, we feel very fortunate to beat a, a Kutztown team, a top 10 team in the country. Uh, they've proven themselves all, all year long to be worthy of that. Uh, they're, they're a veteran team. The seniors have been together for a long time. They're, uh, they're, they're well coached, and they, they have a lot of different uh, weapons. So I thought our defense was did a solid job tonight, and that's, that gave us a chance to win. And uh, on offense, I thought we shared the ball and passed the ball uh, well. And... Uh, had, had a nice offensive flow to, to the game tonight. Question. Dante, when did you realize that you were on there? Uh, I don't know. After I, My shot was feeling good earlier in the day, but uh, I'd say I, probably after the second made three, I was feeling really good about my shot. So it's probably that. Dante, I'll stick with you. What was your week like uh, coming off probably – the worst game of your career, and tonight you had the best game of your career. What was your mindset coming in, and what was this past week like for you? Uh, after the last game, I, I played out of character, so uh, week of practice, I was just really focusing on uh, the player that I've been trying to be the whole year and uh, really getting my, my teammates involved. So uh, this whole week, I was just really trying to uh, distribute the ball and be a good, <coughs> be a good leader and a good facilitator, and uh, just happened to work out. Really, was just trying to get his allowance back. <laughs> Since he got re rebuked from him last week. <laughs> well, and Coach, what's it like for you to sit there and watch that kind of performance? Not only it being your son, but your, your point guard and after uh, the performance he had last time. Well, first of all, I wasn't overly worried about him. He, he, he got up and did play somewhat out of character. Uh, some of these experiences are new to him. Okay, uh, Brandon Norfleet really controlled the game last year and, and, and this year having to take that leadership role from that, the point guard position. Uh, there's a lot of variables you got to get through. Sometimes you only get through them with experience, but I never, I never had any doubts on his capabilities. It's just uh, your, mind, your mind has to ch – the game challenges your mind a lot as a player, and you've got to constantly work at getting your mind back in the right place in order to be productive in order to move on to the next play. So. I'm proud of him that he moved on to the next play. Um, as a, that's as a coach, as a father, I've always just told him, um, enjoy it and, have, and be a great teammate. And so um, my focus on that is, is that he, he does those two things. And, and usually if he can keep his focus on that, um, the, rest of the, game will, the rest of the game will come. You guys got off to such a good start. You made your first five shots. <coughs> and sustained it throughout the first half. How important was it to get off to a good start in this environment? You know, I, I, don't, I don't put extra emphasis on how we start or, 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 or how we finish. I'm, I'm, I think I, I get more focused on how we finish halves and how we finish games and how we finish halves. Um, we haven't been great at finishing halves this year, but, uh, you know, that kind of sets the tone for my locker room talk. Um, <laughs> but... Uh, um, no, I, I, you know, these guys have worked all year to, to accomplish, to get to this NCAA, not only us, but Kutztown and everybody else in the tournament. Um, I really work a lot harder at making sure that this is a, uh, that they enjoy this experience. And, and, and only half the teams are going to win today and only half are going to win tomorrow. But, uh, but they can all enjoy the experience and, and it doesn't need to feel, be any sense of pressure. It's a sense of everything they do from now, from, from here on out when they get into the NCAA tournament is a, um, they need to go get it. They need to. They need to be feel good about what they've done to this point, and and, and really, um, just try to go out there and compete. And, and if we're good enough that night, that's fine. And then we move on. And if we're not good enough, or, or sometimes the other team will have something to say whether we're good enough or not. Uh, then we go home, and we're, we're grateful for the opportunities and the success we had uh, during the course of the year. Drez, you got off to a good start. Um, you guys got the ball in the low post. Is that the game plan coming in to try to get the ball low and score easy? Yeah, coach talked about it. He said he wanted to play through the post to begin with, and 
the big thing with me all week, he was talking about playing with pace. I think, and I just wanted to really show the guys, I wanted to help us settle in because I was the only one with uh, NCAA experience. So I just wanted to show, I always try to lead by example. So just, I wanted to be the guys to settle in and just play slow. Hopefully I set the pace for the rest of the team and they played with pace too. Fairmont coming up tomorrow night. Uh, top seed on their court. So what do you expect to go in town tomorrow? Well, I just hope we can survive I, uh, the game. I think uh, they're as talented as any team in the region's been in the last. They have probably more t natural talent than any team in the last ten years that uh, you know that we've been coming to the NCAA tournament the last nine. So. Yeah. There's certainly no shortage on that. They're more, they're probably the most athletic team in the last ten years, and that's including the, 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 the and that's including the two elite eights that we went to, um, and uh, you know, and then they, they have, a, I think they have a, a really good home court atmosphere. So, uh, you know, it's a little bit of uh, David and Goliath, I think. You know, I mean, this is this is their tournament, I think, for the for the taking this year, and, and they've they've done a good job of building their program to put themselves in this situation. So. Um, you know, we're just happy to have a chance to, to go out there and, and, and try to compete against them. How about for you guys, you really haven't played in a hostile environment this year. Um, what do you expect tomorrow night? Uh, we're excited for it. We want to embrace the challenge. Like Coach said, they're a great team. I've been around a long time, and they're one of the better teams I've seen in six years. So I'm just excited we get the opportunity to play them at their home court. Uh, yeah. To go along with what he said, we're just really excited. Uh, it's going to be a new challenge for us, but uh, we're up for the challenge and I'd like to see where, how we can do. One thing about our guys, I don't, you know, you, you can't always control the scoreboard and how that's going to turn out. But uh, our, our guys have a, uh, they're going to do a good job in preparation. They've done a great job consistently all year long in that, and then they're going to fight. They're going to compete and they're going to fight. And um, uh, if we're if we're uh, if we're good enough. You know, we're good enough on a given night to do it, and uh, and we'll just kind of hope that tonight, tomorrow night's the night. But uh, I definitely think uh, all the advantage leans towards uh, Fairmont tomorrow. Yeah, quick turn on this. You focus more on what you do, or you focus on what Fairmont. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm surprised that this at our. To be honest with you, I'm surprised that the NCAA <laughs> has us have a less than 24-hour turnaround. I mean, that that seems, especially when. I don't know what the magic number is as far as turnaround, but uh, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed that uh, uh, the host team gets to play an earlier game, gets a couple of hours rest, and we don't even get 24 hours. Um, maybe we can just play it tonight if, if, every, if, we got, if everyone hasn't left. Okay, um, but no, I, I really, I really don't think that that should uh, that's, that should, it should be consistent. We should play at 8:30 again tomorrow, so you can go on, you know, we can go on the record and doing that. But. Uh, um, you know, we put, we prepared for Fairmont earlier in the week. We played them once. We prepared for them. Um, our guys in practice, uh, a lot of our walk-ons, though, they're not quite as athletic as the guys <laughs> in, in Fairmont. So I don't know how good some of the preparation was, but at least they have a feel on what they do. And uh, um, and then we can, uh, you know, we have to we have to be able to settle in and uh, adjust to the speed of the game is our biggest challenge probably tomorrow. The speed and, and their speed and athleticism. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.